Today I'm in Montreal, Canada, trying out a place called Orange Julep. We're going to this place that I know a lot of people have like raved about. It's like thing that's shaped like an orange. Usually when you're driving down the highway, you see like an orange bar, you're like, what is this? Well, it's actually a restaurant that sells a great orange juice. It's been hyped up for the longest time, so we're about to try this out. Oh my God, I see the orange gumball. We are at the Julep Orange, or the Gibo Orange Julep. This is Gerard's the second time in North America. So I wanted to show him very like North American things. Je vais être très franc. J'ai jamais vu ça de ma vie. Je pensais qu'on pouvait aller à l'intérieur, et en fait non, c'est juste une boule orange au milieu d'un parking. A very famous place, been around for a, a really long time, almost a hundred years. It's a Montreal icon. They have this like really special orange flavored drink that I used to hate, but Alex really loved it. The restaurant was started by Hermes Gibo in 1932 to serve his trademark orange drink. The drink was a family recipe that dated back to the 1920s. Till today, no one knows what is in it. Originally built in 1945 by owner Hermes Gibo on the Tecavi Expressway. As the expressway was expanding, they rebuilt it in 1966, bigger and better. In the beginning, there was actually girls serving you your lunch in rollerblades. It's not like that anymore. You need to go to the queue. I guess we'll go try it out. I still hate it. I've been in Montreal for over a decade and shamefully I haven't tried it yet so I'm super excited. Look how cool this is! And the lineups look crazy like the parking lot is full which means that this place has to be good. See that little orange thing that's coming from that tube? Yeah that's the orange you Now I need to figure out what I want to eat. Oh my god and they have twist ice cream! Alright! Not the small one, the second one. Hope like you like Oh my god! Yeah, it's like an orange creamsicle. Ugh. Why do you like it? Because it tastes great. Ah. So how is it? <laughs> it's surprising. It's surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Một vị nước cam vô cùng khác mọi người à. Nó không phải là nước cam vắt như là Việt Nam mình đâu. Mình nghĩ là công thức này á. I'm taking my first sip. Wow. It's really good. Thank you so much for documenting very special moment in my life. I've already done my life. Is it good? Oh my god, guys, this is so good. Let's try it here. Mmm, oh yeah. Tastes like a creamsicle. A lot of people compare this drink to like a creamsicle. Personally, I don't think so. I think it has its own flavor to it. It's a little bit on the sweeter side, so not everyone might like it, but it's refreshing for summer. It's good. It's so good. <laughs> it's disgusting. I'm still drinking because it was four dollars. It's not like I don't like it. It's not like I like it. It's kind of like right in the middle. <laughs> Rõ ràng là lúc mới uống cái vị đầu tiên, uống cái ngụm đầu tiên của cái nước cam này thì mình thấy nó hơi khác thường một chút Nhưng mà uống một hồi thì rất là đã When I ordered, I said, can you tell me what's in it? And she's like, oh no, it's a secret I'm like, what do you mean? You must know She's like, no, nope, no one knows All I know is it's freaking good It tastes like a trip to Montreal Actually, it's probably my favorite drink here Oh my god You want another one? So good. Really, really refreshing. Five out of five. Can't get much better than this. Here's the poutine looking awesome. Never had poutine in Canada before. So guys, this is the first time that TJ is going to eat poutine. Here it goes. Oh my god, yes. I have the burger here. Oh my god. It looks great. I'm super excited. Oh, wow. And lastly, let's try the hot dog. This looks really, really good. I really like what they did with that bread there. This toast to outside bread, which gives it a little crunch. It's kind of like when you're making grilled cheese and you put butter on the bread and then you cook it. Got a nice toast on that bun. Hands down, probably one of the best hot dogs in uh, Montreal. There's really nothing I think you could do to make this hot dog better. Definitely one of the better hot dogs I've had. Sai lớn như thế này. Đây là sai lớn này mọi người. Nó dày 
dài bằng cái đầu của mình. I haven't been here for a while. But a few years ago I used to come here every single Tuesday for a Volkswagen meetup. The oldest drive-in in Quebec. It was born in 1932. There's almost an automotive uh, night happening here every night of the week. The cars that come here it just it's just really cool. Car enthusiasts from near and far gather to hobnob, check out what's under their hoods and share their passion. We have a contest between like different categories, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and special cars as well. So at the end of the evening basically we uh, we give prizes to the nicest car in all categories. It's a really great community vibe here. Generations of Montrealers have been coming here for years and I can tell why. Orange Tulip is a true Montreal landmark. If you guys are of passage in the city, make sure you guys hit the spot and try this original drink out. If you haven't tried this place yet, one of the best drinks you'll ever have. Oh, it was amazing. I'm so full. It was so good. Look, rất là nhiều người, nhiều đầu bếp cũng như là nhiều khách khám phá cái công thức của họ là. I've tried making uh, an orange julep at home and it just hasn't been the same. If ever you're in Montreal, you really need to try this. He loves it. I hate it. Come for yourself and try it out. This is a real Montreal classic. Nous avons demandé à des gens qu'est-ce que l'orange Juliette de Gibault a vraiment de spécial. C'est la fête. Excellent goût d'orange. Orange Juliette de Gibault réinvente la poisson à l'orange. J'en veux, j'en veux. Delicious. Totally worth it.